welcome to Double A in SA. This week's adventure brings us to a food truck park off of Broadway where we get to have our favorite cortado from Mila. And we're trying out some garnitas tacos from Carnitas Don Raul and they have been on a Netflix series called Taco Chronicles. So cool. We can't wait to share with you our adventure today as we enjoy this beautiful day outside and our delicious mm. food and drink. is you don't really know where your next destination is going to be. And a lot of our sister days, it, we just go, go with, with the, the flow. flow. We knew where we wanted to go for coffee and some food. Now it's like, what's next? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Broadway, we saw some antique stores, and we're like, you know what? Antique stores can be a little bit pricey. Let's see if there's any thrift stores. Yes. So I Googled thrift store. One came up ahead, and it was called the Green Door Thrift Shop. This is actually a ministry from the St. Luke's Episcopal Church Ministry. It's a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. So it feels good to shop at places yes. like this, to support ministries like this. To know all your money is going back to the community and yes. to help others in need. Yes. And Andrea found some great finds. <laughs> Angela had a good eye for some fine china and some cool glassware. And so I snagged two ramekins, which I needed ramekins yes. for a dollar each. And then this beautiful teacup saucer with a fine china, just gorgeous yeah. and intricate. Uh, and then I have been looking for a jacket all season. Specifically, I wanted a tan or camel colored jacket. And I found this Banana Republic jacket here. These go for upwards of $200 to $150 and above new. The quality is fantastic. It looks like it's had minimal wear. It was very well taken care of. And I think it was a steal for $50. And again, it feels so good to fits be able to perfect. It fits me perfectly. And it, I was telling Angela, if you look at my search history, I have been looking for this exact color jacket all season long. Just something I can throw on and walk out the door and still look chic and professional. Mm -hmm. And I found it here at the Green Door store and we it's had Broadway to. and Nacogdoches it's Broadway and Nacogdoches um and who doesn't love buying something and it goes back to the community like that is just That's amazing amazing it just feels so good what and this good is why day. this is why we just <laughs> go with the flow some days yes let's see where the day takes us now we need a cupcake <laughs> <laughs> to, to celebrate replenish. yes to celebrate very fine <laughs> Okay, for our last stop, we decided to go to Kung Fu Tea and get some boba tea. Oh my gosh. So I'm trying a totally new flavor called Longan Dujubi, and it is the most delicious boba tea I've ever had. Such a mm -hmm. cute, unique, super tasty location here. Uh, what kind did you get? I got the winter melon and it is very good. It is good. I tasted hers. It's delicious. This is absolutely uh, yeah. incredible. Andrews, I think like I would have never thought to get that. And uh, we met Tommy and Remy mm -hmm. at um, the Kung Fu Tea in Alamo Heights on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And they're the ones that helped kind of just make our decision, explained all the teas to us. Amazing customer service. So shout out to Remy and Tommy. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for really connecting us with some delicious tea yes, this so, afternoon. Yeah, so definitely go visit them. 
I have to say, that was an amazing day out on Broadway Street in San Antonio. We did so much. And I know, in just a couple of hours. It was just so fun and like spontaneous. We knew where we wanted to start. We started at Mila, got carnita tacos, and then we let the day take us. We ended up at Bird Bakery and got some mini cupcakes to go. We went to the thrift store and found some amazing finds. And then we went and got some Kung Fu tea. And it was just an absolutely fun sister day. We love that we got to show you Broadway Street if you've never been on that street or really explored we barely tip the iceberg mm -hmm. there is so much oh, yeah. to see on broadway street there's brickenbridge park that we could have gone to the botanical gardens there's just so much yes. to be seen there's so many antique stores yeah. little shops boutiques so many um local restaurants also on Broadway Street. So many local restaurants. Press Coffee is another one we could try. There's just so much fun. Witty Museum. <laughs> we just keep going. We just keep going. <laughs> the, <laughs> the zoo. Keep the museum, the, all the different locations. So if you want a fun day out in San Antonio that's a little different, hang out on Broadway Street. There's going to be something for everybody there. Mm -hmm. And even in these crazy times right now, you can take all this stuff to go and have a picnic at Breckenridge Park oh, so fun. and just have a day outside and soak up some vitamin D. <laughs> and doesn't it feel good to support local It definitely places. does. It does. Well, thank you for joining us on today, our adventure with our sister day on Broadway. And we hope you join us next time with Double A in SA. Bye. Bye.